Morning affirmations for entrepreneurs. Shalom. Power of money. Which should you want most? Which would you choose if you had to? Power of money. Both of them are as sweet as the nectar from flowers and honey, but you can only choose one. You're a smart entrepreneur, so I pray you chose power. Why? With the power, a president could push a button to destroy the whole world in an hour. With only money, you're limited, and I'll prove it. Are you guys all paying attention to the cryptocurrency movement? People with no power release their crypto coin and it's crickets and no movements. But when the powerful Elon Musk tweeted out Dogecoin, the price began instantly boosting. Point proven, right? So as a soon to be billionaire, what should you start doing? Should you focus only on building your income only? If so, you're already on the side that's losing. <laughs> A person with power and credibility could lose all money and everything but bounce back quickly because of their networks. They've made other powerful connections that will rapidly help them rebuild their net worth. If you had all the money in the world but no power in that position, you'd be nervous as hell contemplating suicide. You've seen it before. The billionaire goes bankrupt, jump the bridge, and then choose life because his life savings was depleted and he didn't have power to bring them back. So as you wake up this morning, meditate on how to make connections to powerful people with no strings attached. Make those same powerful people love you and you'll gain power by association. Their authority rubs off on you so that when you're in a tight situation, you have leverage for negotiation. That's how true billionaires move. They don't focus on money. They focus on leverage. They focus on how to gain power and authority in an industry that they're always protected. You should do the same, future billionaire. Don't you want to be a billionaire? Open your windows this morning. Feel the air. Meditate on this so you can feel prepared and obstacles in your business. So stay real aware because business problems never exit. They're still in there, but you're a billionaire with power. Since you're a man that believes more in power, you can't be bought. You don't have numbers. You stand firm in your business decisions and conquer the wars you fought. Money is used as a defense, which is actually in the Bible scriptures. But 2 Timothy says that he gives us power also, so it's supposed to be some type of mixture. With power, it's 10 times easier to acquire money from thin air. The proof is in all these money scams promoted by celebrities. That's idolatry. <laughs> That idolatry has you pinned. You're impressed by the power probably because they're rich and well-known, but you're still in poverty. But you ain't got to be, though. Not no more. Start building power through making connections with people that already have it. Find something to offer them. Serve up your God-given talents to them, and they'll make you their most valuable asset. Power dominates the earth right now, and ironically, that's the same place to cash it. So which do you choose or which do I choose between power and money? Man, you shouldn't even have to ask that. Shalom.